Ali May White. I'm here today because I work for the asylum seekers. I teach them English in Asylum Linked First Society. So uh, I am uh, Mathieu. I am here uh, to protest in silence uh, for uh, asylum seekers because uh, they are uh, not, uh, not really seen as human and uh, not really treated uh, with the dig dignity they should. Uh. My name is Robert. I'm here today because um, I was working with asylum seekers during this year and um, I heard many tragic stories really what happened to people, horrible stories, sadness that is beyond our understanding and um, I, I personally I, I just felt I can't, I can't just go home and pretend I didn't hear that or just carry on with my life. I think it's very important that people are aware of the situation of asylum seekers. My experience is that people don't really know the truth or the full truth of why they're here and what's happening. I got uh, the ID from France uh, where uh, the circle of silence exists uh, since a few years. I've seen the power of silence in a um, busy society where everybody is uh, doesn't seem to look to the other and to the problems of the other. Uh, you feel quite powerless, you can't do anything to help people. I just, I just think what makes me so passionate about it is uh, I have the feeling uh, our society is based on certain fundamental values. Uh, one of them uh, is uh, human rights. Uh, so I, I strongly believe in human rights. If people, if people have to flee from their home country, if there are cases of emergency where people are really in desperate need of help and safety, uh, then I think um, we can't just pretend this is not our problem. I think we have a moral obligation to help these people and to give sanctuary and to try to support them to go through this period. I'm not saying that we're all wonderful, saintly people. That's not the point. The point is they're human beings with the same rights in this world as I have. Some newspapers, and then when you open them, uh, it's so obvious that there is some manipulation. And I'm a teacher, I'm a lecturer, and it's one of the most rewarding things I ever do is to teach asylum seekers because they want to learn. And there's nothing better for a teacher than to have pupils who want to learn. So I want people to know. Then people make up their minds. If they know the real situation, they decide what to do.